If you've been watching my videos then you'll know that I've got quite a few projects on the go. I usually have at least four or five projects uh, going at the same time and that's just because quite often it can take quite a long time to get components delivered, uh, track them down. I deal mostly with vintage equipment so it can be quite hard to locate certain parts so uh, rather than sitting around doing nothing for weeks on end while parts turn up I usually work on a different project and uh, that said at the moment it's taking a very long time to get some components and some parts uh, manufactured or delivered and uh, so if you're waiting for updates on the various projects I'm working on please be patient I am still working on them uh, but I'm just waiting for certain parts to turn up so while I'm waiting I thought I'd uh, make use of the time and what I want to do in this video is just discuss a new project that I'll be starting fairly soon and what I really want here is some feedback from anyone that would be interested in this project. Uh, like my other projects I try to aim them at uh, a realistic uh, outcome. I want to uh, create things that are of use to people, either information uh, or even um, items that you can build yourselves. If you've been watching my channel, if you've been to my website, then you'll know that I supply uh, boards like this, amongst other things. And these are pod boards for this machine. So this is a Fluke 9010A. And if you're not familiar with one of these, it's really a, a, an in-circuit emulator, very flexible. It will handle lots of different types of microprocessor. And the interest in this sort of thing does seem to be growing quite rapidly. So as I say I, I provide board sets for building the pods so this is a, an example uh, of a pod and there's a different one of these for each type of processor so you, basically what you do is you plug this into this machine uh, and then this can be used to fault find on various bits of equipment. Uh, it's very flexible you can write scripts and test programs and uh, it's, uh, if you've seen me using this in previous videos you can see what it does. Uh, if not you might want to go back and have a look at some of the projects I've used uh, this for in the past. The problem is these are quite rare, they're getting very expensive and the cost just seems to be going up and up and one of the problems with eBay is that uh, every time someone sells one of these they look at the price the previous one sold for at a few pounds and it gradually ramps up the cost and uh, they're getting a bit uh, ridiculous at the moment. Um, one thing I've discussed in the past and something I've been asked quite a few times is whether I would be able to reproduce the main board for this machine. Uh, so rather than just produce the pods would I be able to create the main board that um, the main unit uses? And the answer is of course yes it would be quite easy to do that but there are some problems that uh, would be encountered by somebody wanting to build one of these and that's what I want to look at in this video and get feedback from yourselves. There are some options that um, we could go with but really it's a case of deciding what people uh, would want to uh, use and build. Now it would of course be possible to just emulate this completely um, but that's not really what my channel's about. I'm trying to keep as close to vintage electronics and the uh, nature and feel of vintage electronics as I can so I don't really want to just create a, 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 an FPGA or even software uh, only emulator I want to actually have something that can go on the bench that has the feel look uh, and operation of the original equipment so what I want to do here I'll just take the cover off this unit and we'll have a look inside and I'll show you what the problems are that uh, need to be addressed if a main board was going to be reproduced for this. Okay, so with the cover removed, what we can see is what's inside is uh, one large main board, but we also have this display board and we also have a separate keyboard. And this is a fairly similar issue that we had with the uh, ADM3A that I am uh, reproducing and that it would be very easy just to make this uh, main board but you'd then have the problem of what to do about the display so you'd need the display display board there is uh, other electronics on this board 
mostly to drive the high voltage display and then you have the keyboard. Now neither of those would be difficult to reproduce but the problem comes in uh, what to do about the components that we can't easily find. Now firstly we have the display on the display board. If anyone does know of a source for these original displays or something that's a, a compatible uh, drop-in, even if it's got different pinouts, uh, then please let me know and that's something that perhaps we could use. So that's probably the easiest problem to overcome. The one that's a bit more tricky is the keyboard. So because almost every key um, has uh, custom text on it, we can't just use existing keys and we need to find some way to reproduce something that could be used in place of uh, these keycaps. I can quite easily find keys that will work for this, um, but it's a case of getting keycaps that would have the correct text. And uh, of course there is also text on the, um, the background and the cover for the keyboard. So they're the main issues. The rest of it is very easy to reproduce. It would be very uh, straightforward to do the rest of it. It's quite a big board. It does actually cover the entire uh, base of the machine. Uh, there's not a huge amount on it. There's quite a few components, but it's not a huge amount on there. And it will be quite straightforward to reproduce that board. So the main board's not a problem, um, but we'd need to decide what's acceptable for the keyboard and the display. So any feedback on this would be uh, welcome. Uh, as I say, the main thing is the keyboard. Now we could produce a, a touch panel overlay, but the tooling for that's expensive. So unless we start making hundreds of these, then um, the, the tooling charge would be exorbitant. It'd be about 2000 uh, pounds set up and tool charge to make a, a touch panel for this, a key panel. And uh, the problem we have there, of course, is they're not mechanical keys and they can be a bit of a pain to, uh, to use when you're testing because you've got to be careful how you press them and it um, can get a bit uh, irritating trying to use them. So mechanical keys are far better, um, but some solution would be needed for uh, how to identify the uh, individual keys. Uh, if anyone out there knows um, where custom keycaps can be uh, produced or if they have the ability to make custom keycaps and want to collaborate on this then uh, again please let me know. Uh, otherwise um, as I say this video is just to explain why I have not yet reproduced this um, uh, main board and this uh, system so the, the pods are quite straightforward because all the parts can be obtained uh, but with this, some consideration needs to be given to the um, what amount of custom parts that Fluke made. So, as I say, any uh, ideas or feedback on this would be appreciated. Uh, there's no point in me making main boards for these. They might be useful for someone wanting to repair one, uh, but that doesn't really address the issue that I'm trying to address of uh, making these units more widely available to someone that wants to, to build one of their own. Uh, I wouldn't be reproducing the case, the enclosure, uh, or the metalwork, it would just be the PCBs. And um, a similar solution possibly to the ADM3 where a separate uh, keyboard is made. Separate uh, display board would be easy to make, um, even if we don't go for an uh, electroluminescent uh, display, then certainly uh, discrete uh, LED displays could be used. Or, or even a, a long thin um, LCD could be used. Uh, there are plenty around at the moment, uh, OLEDs, that sort of thing. So displays not a problem, it's mainly the keyboard that we need to try and find a solution for.